Peace, family. All right, VA Growing Gardener here. It's out here freezing, um, but there's work to be done. I told you all about my tree that I have, my apple tree that I bought a few years ago where the rootstock is still alive, but the actual graft is dead. Well, we gonna try our hand at grafting, okay? Now, why am I talking in this low tone? I have no idea. But when I seen Lead Farmer 73 do his grafting videos, he usually talks like this and he handles business. So I'm hoping that if I talk like this, I'll be successful. Let's get started. I got a problem. I got a strange addiction. Somebody help me. I need an intervention. It ain't alcohol or weed. There's just one thing that I need. I got an addiction to fruit trees. I got an addiction to fruit trees. I take a persimmon to please. Hey, the next one I'm getting. Did you be? All right, first off, fam, before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to three of my nieces, Amara, Saleh, and Anessa. How y'all doing? Y'all better go to bed. Don't eat no cookies before bed. So anyway, so this is the issue here. I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer. So this is the rootstock. And as you can see, it's, it grows leaves and things like that. You scratch, test it, it's green. We know that that's alive, but from about here on up, it's just dead. So I had a coworker that gave me two cuttings off of her tree that's actually productive. Um, as you can see, I've already, I took both of them and made wedges in both of them. I did that early because it's cold out here, man, and I didn't want to be out here doing that part. So I'm gonna do the rest of it. Um, I've already disinfected my tools. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and put it. <coughs> yeah, that's that's it's disinfected. We good, we good. It's clean. So uh let's get started here. So I don't know if you can see this because it's gotten dark, but right here. There's a line where they put the grafted piece on. So I'm gonna cut it at about right here. We're gonna try to be real gentle. This is my first time doing this, so y'all bear with me. We're gonna cut right here. Oh, that hurt. All right, good. So that's this is the live piece. It's definitely live. I can see the cambium layer. If y'all don't know what the cambium layer is, it's too cold for me to explain it. So y'all, in your Google search, type in Lead Farmer 73 cambium layer. He has about uh, 300 videos where he mentions the cambium layer. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my blade and I'm gonna just rock it across the top. It's nice and easy. Me and Ashley out here working. Yeah, I mean, we cool right now until he starts talking stuff, then it might be something different. We just making a wedge so that we can fit the piece that we clip into the wedge. And I'm thinking I'm gonna use this piece here well, let me see. Actually, we might go with this one. That fits. Let me try this one here. So it fit, they both actually fit perfect. We're going to go with this one. We're going to go with this one, folks. So I'm making sure. So according to what... Lead says, 
as long as one side of the cambium layer touch, then we're good. And that cambium layer is where the juices and the information and the that's where come, the life comes from. So you're flowing life from this rootstock up into this live branch that we're trying to graft on here. So I know y'all are wondering what kind of apple tree this is that this cutting came from. And you know, I have no clue, nor do I care. And the reason I don't care is because I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to graft, man. I'm just trying to graft. If I can get this to successfully graft, you don't know what kind of monster I'm gonna turn into. I'm gonna be making frankenfruit, you know what I'm saying? Just grafting on stuff that just don't need to be grafted. That's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna change the course of my whole life, man, if this is successful. So, I'm not really, honestly, I'm not concerned about what kind it is. It's a productive tree, it produces fruit. It's been producing fruit for a few years. So if I can get this to work, then that's really all I'm concerned about. I'm just trying to make sure this is touching right. Excuse me, family, it is freezing out here. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I bet my wife thinks I'm crazy too. I almost knocked the whole tripod over again. I need my camera lady. She back at that stupid job. I need to start paying her so she can be loyal to me. All right. I think we got it fit. All right, so I got one piece of tape here, electrical tape. I'm going to tape this down. Hold on, fam. Let me shave this a little bit because it's a little lumpy. Now, Led said you want to pull it towards you to make it straight. And actually, I think that did it. That looks, that looks right. That looks good. Let's try this again. Oh, that fits a lot better. Go ahead, Led. All right. So I'm going to take my one tape just to hold it. And he also said you want to tape it so tight that if you taped it on your finger, it would cut the circulation off. And that's what we're going to do. Ugh. We're going to tape it tight. We're going to tape it tight. All right, so let me get the rest of my tape. And I'll come around some more. Camera lady will say that I'm being real unprofessional right now with all these pauses and stuff, but it's freezing out here, fam. I'm gonna tape the fool out of this thing too, man. This hurting me. Looking at how tight this thing is. Alright. I hope y'all can see that. It's tight, man. It's tight. I might put some more on that. Just cause I uh I got a little issue, man. I feel like things should be overdone rather than underdone. Man, my fingers are numb. I can't even feel what I'm doing. But 
we gonna grab. And this is gonna be a success. All right. I'm gonna tape it a little bit more securely off camera. Now listen, uh, you know, I, I'm, I wouldn't be me if I didn't experiment. So, and I might be making a mistake if I am. If there's anybody watching that knows more about grafting than I do, just give me some input. But these leaves and buds and things like that on the top, I'm not going to even cut that off. I'm going to leave that like that. Usually when I see the grafting videos, they cut it and then they put glue or uh, beeswax or whatever on the top. I think I'm going to just leave it like that. Now, if I'm making a mistake, um, let me know in the comments. Now, you can't just say you're making a mistake. You got to tell me why. And I still might not believe you. But anyway, that's pretty much it. I'm going to cut this because I'm freezing. I'm going to uh, tape it up a little bit more and put some aluminum foil around it. And, um, you know, pray for the best, man. The other little cutting, you know, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know if, the, if it's possible to root that. Y'all let me know that as well if you know. But um, other than that, family, that's it. All right, peace.